Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a general overview of how to use Upswing as a student. So the first thing that you'll need to do is find your portal to log in. So you might already know where your portal is, but it's going to look something like this. On the left you'll have your school logo, and here on the right you're going to have your email and password fields. If you don't know how to get here, uh, one way to do that is to go to upswing.io, click on login, and then just search for your school. Once you've found your school, you should be taken to a page that looks like this. So now I'm just going to fill in my email and password and log in. Okay, so once you log in, you should see a page like this. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to search and find coaches to work with. So let's say I need help with a writing class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start searching for writing. And as you can see, here's creative writing, and that's what I need help with. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me to this results page. Okay, so here on this results page, I'm going to see some coaches here, and you'll notice that these coaches say that they are online now. Now if I keep scrolling, some coaches do not have this online now on their profile. So if I want to work with a coach right now, that's what I'm, what I'm going to have to do. So from the search results, I can go ahead and select a coach, but I already have one in mind. So here is Melvin Hines' profile, and I can basically look at a little bit of information about him, his experience, as well as his education information. On the left here, I can see what times he is available, so I can schedule a session. Now, I'm looking for a session tomorrow, which is Saturday, at around 4 o'clock, and it looks like he is going to be available then. So what I'm going to do is click Schedule a Session. We're going to select a subject area, duration, the date, let's make sure that's Saturday as well as the time, 4 o'clock, so that looks good. And as you can see, he is going to be available once again. And once everything looks good, I can click Submit. Now, in some instances, your coach will actually be online right now. So, as you can see on Melvin's profile, we have this button that says Start the Session Now. Now, what this means is that I can start a session right now because Melvin is online. So, if I click on that, I'm going to select the subject area and the duration and click submit. And once I do that, Melvin is going to get a request. So once Melvin accepts the request, I'm going to be taken to the Upswing virtual learning room. Now here on the right, normally you're going to see a live video um, of the coach, but just for this demo, I'm not showing that. Now here on the left, you're going to see the whiteboard area. And this is basically where you and the coach can collaborate. Everything that you add here is going to be seen by the coach. So I can draw using the pencil. I can write things using text. I can uh, place lines and shapes if I want. I can also go over here to the Assets tab, and using this button, I can upload a document if I would like to. And basically, this is just a place for you and the coach to work together. Down here, you can also communicate using text chat if you would like to save something or just put something in the chat. There's a few tools up here. So for instance, if I want to delete something, I can click on it and just hit this delete button right here. If I want to save everything, I can just click this snapshot button and it's going to upload the picture real quick and it's going to save a snapshot of the whiteboard. So that's just the basics of using the Upswing virtual learning room and getting everything started. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please let us know.